Hello everybody, welcome to the CWA Pro Wrestling Post Show Report. I'm James Shaver along with Joy Nugg. And then June the 11th, we are here in Orangeburg. And, um, well, Joy, it's been a month and a half uh, since the last CWA Wrestling Show. What a night, what a night. We lost... Well, well, where, where can we start? I mean, Al Flexador somehow stole the Mexican title from Timber. We won the tag team titles back, yes. but almost lost the, lost the heavyweight strap because of outside forces. Back, go ahead, run down. All right, the first match we have a title change. The CWA Television Championship is now in possession of John Schuyler. John Schuyler defeated Salem Center Six. And um, what do you think about John Schuyler's new wrestling gear? Flashy, flashy. For some reason, there was a, I mean, what was Tim Magnum thinking? I mean, he wanted to do a post down with uh, Jay Batista. I mean, because, here's the reality, here's why I did the post down. Because we know, in the world of professional wrestling, Ken Magnum is number one. That's why he's the heavyweight champion at CWA. So in his world, he's number one. So Ken gave him a chance in his own realm, which is bodybuilding, to try to get some, some kind of shine. But even in then, you can see this crowd. The crowd was all sure for Ken. Well, that would be interesting. A lot of people argue with that. Um, okay. Uh, we have a uh, have new tag team champions, Bruce Wars 2, the PS G Max, and Grandmaster Flex. They shouldn't even have been out there. We're going to keep those tag team titles forever. Forever. Well, how about this guy? I mean, some, some strange guy took on Jay Batista tonight. I mean, very mysterious, very strange. Black Butler. Black Butler. I heard he is huge in Japan, and he's also named after one of the anime cartoon characters. Well, he gave Jay Batista a run for his money before he got disqualified. So, uh, Black Butler is probably oh. we'll see more of him in CWA, hopefully. Oh, man, Black Butler will be back. Okay. Keep going, man. You're doing good. Okay, we uh, we got a, a new champion, a new CWA Mexican champion, El Flexidor, of September. That was a travesty. With J.W. Boss as the guest referee, it was like Kevin was fighting J.W. Boss and, well, not really, J. We got Boss! Well, I, I, I was totally aware that no, what it was is the general manager, Alex Walls, being a proud Mexican, brought us down as the masters of goodwill from the United States. Timber beat the Mexican champion, El Guapador, brought the title back to the United States to the CWA fans. It became an official CWA title under the rules and under the commission of CWA. That's how it happened. Well, once again, Lordy and Zach Salvation hooked up. And uh, this time it was Zach Salvation getting the man with a roll-up. Zach Salvation, I used to say the guy, the Queen City Killer, that guy is money. Expect big things from Zach Salvation. Well, um, somehow Brady Pierce got to the main event. Um, very, he was very lucky to get to the main event, but however, he did get a title shot. Tim Magnum. Uh, Brady Pierce uh, gave Tim Magnum. Uh, a lot for us. He gave him uh, a lot for you watching. Ken Magna beat him from, from corner to corner. Beat him from the bell to the curtain to curtain. Come on, man. Where are you at? Love you, love you. Uh, first of all, um, okay, uh, well, Brady Pierce defeated Ken Magna by the qualification. And then that big nose referee, what's his name, Tim whatever, stuck his nose in, in our business. And he got knocked out and rolled out of the ring on a teaster right here. Well, Jay Batista, after the match, Jay Batista, J.W. Boss, and Brady Pierce all got... Jay Batista got Joey Nugs' his business, high society business once again. Then we started taking control. Timber came out to check on his teammates. Next thing you know, here comes the, the Calvary again, J.W. Boss, Mr. Potato Head, and he got wrapped in the middle of the ring. We broke his leg. We broke... Jay Batista's back. I don't think you're going to see the JJ team back here at CWA ever again, Jesus. Wrap it up. I'm ready to go home. All right, the next show is July the 11th on the Saturday. We'll be right here in Orangeburg. See you then.